Hi guys! So, you're starting from scratch and you want to sing. Well, if you know how to sing Happy Birthday, then it's fine and you already sing a song when you sing Happy Birthday. Okay, maybe you want to sing something else and you want to sing a more uh, advanced song and uh, uh, not that simple? Well, if you think about the word singing, how is it done? First, you need to decide and so it's your brain, your mind, you just decide what you're singing. You choose the song, you pick up the notes and you choose the style and how you want to sing it, okay? So it all comes from a decision and it's here, an impulse from your mind. Then if you think about how it's done physically, okay it's here, your voice is here, but how is it done? You breathe, so you're alive, and because you breathe you exhale, okay? You just throw air out of your mouth and it makes vibrate your vocal folds which are there in your music box. That's why you can speak and that's why you can sing, okay? After that, once you've done the sound, you shape the sound with your mouth, with your larynx, the tongue, the palate and your mouth, your lips and then it goes out. So it goes out in your body, it resonates over there in your, all your bones and your body and then it goes out in the air and maybe somebody's gonna listen to your beautiful voice someday. So each of those steps like the brain thing and the breath support and your vocal muscles and the shape of your vowels and how you sing your consonants too and how you project your voice they need to be um, uh, prepared and you need, you need to work on that okay each steps so let's see how you can develop all the steps okay the first step was it's a mind decision you decide you want to sing something first you get to nourish your brain you're gonna fuel uh, your musicality so you gotta listen to a lot of different singers. I know we all have our favorite maybe artist but please listen to a bunch of singers. If you're into R&B listen to R&B but listen to different artists so you don't just mimic somebody you really like because uh, if you really really love let's say Michael Jackson you really 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 love him and you only listen to his music then you're gonna end up uh, singing only like him and not like you so listen to a lot of music if you can listen to other genders uh, other styles sorry that's fine and that's even better because you can pick up things everywhere and when I say listen it's really listening it means you don't do nothing else it's, it's not hearing so you don't uh, wash the dishes you don't uh, work and you don't read or you don't talk to somebody you really listen you sit down you look at the sky and you listen to the music or you close your eyes and you just listen to the music and you don't sing. It starts like that, you don't sing, you just listen. But that's cool because you're just resting and the music, you know, is uh, so amazing that even just listening is already working on your vocals. So that was the first step. You listen to a lot of different 
artists in the music styles that you really like. The second step is uh, working on your breath, your breath, breath support, breathing support. You must learn how to breathe the right way. It's not the way that we all breathe. We all know how to breathe. We don't think about it, <laughs> or it's, it will be uh, very complicated. But the singing breathing is different. So you gotta learn, you really gotta learn. Don't listen to those teachers saying, no, you don't need to learn how to breathe. It's, it's not true. You gotta learn how to breathe the right way if you want to sing really. The real singing thing is not just singing happy birthday, okay? So learn how to breathe the singing way, if I can say that. And I will make a a course is going to be available very very soon so you can check on my website and it's going to be free so you can um, all uh, learn how to to understand how it works and what to do and what not to do because uh, we can take uh, bad habits also so you gotta learn how to breathe the right way the singing way We're at step number three. One, two, three. Okay, it's your music box over there. That's where your sounds are produced. So you need to work on your vocal folds. Your, there are m muscles, so it's, it's like you're a, an athlete, but not really. <laughs> but you really need to train your vocal folds to make the sounds that you want to do so you need to sing a lot like 15 to 30 minutes each day and uh, you vary the songs that you sing start with the very simple melodies and then you can you know just go with the more difficult uh, songs but start with the simple melodies if you really really love a song and let's say that the uh, the verse is very easy but the chorus is difficult then sing the verse maybe someday you'll be able to sing the chorus okay with practice i'm sure you will uh, so you need to work on your vocal folds and on your um the, the memory of the muscle, the muscle memory. Each time we do a uh, movement and a gesture, if we do that, uh, let's say 10 times, and our brain think it's good, it's the right gesture, then it's gonna remember. Your uh, memory is gonna remember, the muscle has memory, it's gonna remember that this gesture is good so I can do it again okay so be careful maybe you can also learn bad habits so you really need to be careful if you can go to a vocal coach or take singing lessons maybe online or with a program but with somebody really explaining how to do it what's right and what's not how it should sound and how it shouldn't sound so you really understand what you should do and what you should not do because if you take a bad habits it's very difficult to undo okay but for your pleasure and for your vocal folds sing every day every day every day then if you can learn the scales learn um, how to uh, it's ear training so it goes with the first part which were uh, which was a uh, listen to artists in ear training you listen to the melodies they sing but you can also listen to scales because the more you'll sing those scales the more you'll be uh, on pitch and precise so it goes together 
you can sing songs and you can sing also vocalizes and uh, practice exercises your voice and your vocal folds over there. Then, when, once the sound is produced, we arrive at uh, step number four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. It's uh, how you shape your sound. So you produced your sound over there with your vocal folds, but then you have to shape it or it's just uh, an uh, okay? So if you do a uh, and you move your jaw and your the the tongue and your soft palate it's going to make different sound you can also move the larynx but it's for the more advanced singers so uh just what you can do is really try to shape your vowels in a way that people can understand the lyrics you're singing so don't sing like that mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, okay, it's very, uh, there's no dynamics and so you have to really shape your vowels. Hallelujah, hallelujah, okay, then you can try things and what I want you to do is to record yourself singing. First, at first, you're gonna hate it. Uh, we all do. It's like when you're recording your uh, the, the message for your phone. We hate it, but you gotta do it every day. When you sing every day, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, record yourself and try things. So if you're singing, I... Um, hello, um, from Adele. Um, you can try things like hello from the other side try try a different R and you're gonna see how it goes and if, if you like it maybe you're gonna close your mouth a little bit more hello from the other side and it's enough and you don't need to make an ah like that <laughs> okay but try things like hello, hello, and not hello, hello, with the mouth to open or you gotta try and take songs that you really love and record yourself and then if you don't like something and it, you try again and you change it, okay? That's if you can't take lessons because the the easier way to go if you if you don't have an amazing uh, born uh, talent that is to take lessons so you can go to a vocal coach you can uh, maybe join a, a choir and you can also learn online or um, take courses but you gotta make sure that the person you choose really explain the way you understand because we're all different I uh, teach in a certain way and uh, somebody else is gonna tell you something else but you gotta choose the person uh, who really uh, connect with you and that you really understand okay so um, the person in any cases uh, has to show you how it should be and how it shouldn't because if if the person only shows you how it should be maybe it's not going to be clear enough and if the person shows you how it should be done and how it shouldn't be done then you're gonna really really understand the difference okay I hope you uh, will uh, now start to sing pick a song listen to it don't do nothing else and then just sing the song the simple melody if it's difficult take the the more the, the easiest part 
and sing, sing, sing every day and you're gonna improve, I'm sure. And you can also take uh, courses, uh, online courses or go to a vocal coach to learn more and, you know, just to have some advice and uh, uh, implement some exercises uh, for your voice because we're all different so maybe you need to work on this thing and somebody else needs um, another exercise but sing every day and have fun i uh, see you in the next video